गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल वेल एंड फाइन एट होम येस सो टुडे आई एम बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री द डाइजेस्टिव एंड द एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम्स इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू चैप्टर नंबर वन द फूड वी ईट एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टीप आई होप यू ऑल मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड द चैप्टर्स सो नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर In this chapter, we are going to learn about the digestive system of humans. The food we eat, how it is digested, and the excretory system of human. The excretory system is that the undigested part of the food, how it goes out from the body, and what are the healthy habits for digestion and excretion. What are the healthy habits we should adopt for digestion and excretion? okay i hope you will try to understand the chapter okay let's move forward our body needs energy to do work and to stay healthy so why our body needs energy our body needs energy we have already explained it need energy to stay and to work healthy this energy where this energy comes from this energy comes from the food we eat from where this energy comes it comes from the food we eat when we eat food it goes to various organs for digestion when we are eating food the directly the food is not digested it goes to the various organs a long chain it has to follow for proper digestion of the food before digestion the big pieces of food are broken down into small pieces before the food is digested it is broken down into small pieces so that the process of digestion becomes easy i'll explain you let us discuss about a digestive system digestive system we are going to discuss what are the different organs the food we eat how it goes digested in our body okay what are the digestive system of humans our body cannot use the nutrients directly from the food we eat what are the near basically what are the uh, basic five type of nutrients carbohydrates is there fats is there nutri uh, proteins is there so our body cannot use it directly from the food we eat so they undergo a change passing through various organs of our body so the food has to be passed through various organs of the body it has to pass then the process of digestion is completed the process of breaking down of food to simpler form so the process of breaking down of food the process the food is breaking down into simpler form and this process is known as digestion what does this process known as this process is known as digestion so this is important when the food is passing into a body and to make that process easy that easy process for the digestion of food is known as digestion of food is known as digestion understood okay now we are moving to the organs of the digestive system so what are the different organs that helps in digestion our digestive tract includes organs such as mouth food pipe stomach large intestine small intestine rectum and anus so what are the different organs that a body includes mouth food pipe stomach large intestine small intestine rectum and anus so these are the different organs that includes in the digestive organs these are the different organs that helps in the proper digestion of food it is a long tube like structure which is also known as the alimentary canal so a long structure has to be followed it is kind of a chain the process starts from the mouth i'll explain you in detail what is the role of each organ it starts from the mouth and ends at anus so where this is process starts it starts at mouth and it's end at anus some other organs such as liver pancreas salivary glands also helps in the process of digestion so these are the other organs that helps in the process of digestion thus the alimentary canal along with liver pancreas gall bladders and salivary glands constitute the digestive system not only the organs such as mouth food pipe stomach large intestine but some other organs such as liver is also there pancreas is there salivary glands is there so these 
together constitute the part of a digestive system. I hope children you are trying to understand it. So the alimentary canal along with liver, pancreas, gallbladder and salivary gland these all constitute the digestive system. Okay. So now I am going to explain you the process of digestion. These are the organs. First this flow chart has been given. Before this I will explain you the process and side by side I will take you to the diagram also. The process of digestion starts from a mouth. So it is clear. Now the process of digestion has been started. And from where it has been started? It has been started from the mouth. When we take food into mouth, the teeth bite, chew and grind the food. And inside the mouth, the function of the teeth start. What is the function of the teeth? Bite, chew and grind the food. Food is also mixed with saliva, which is a digestive juice. When we are taking the food into the mouth, a liquid from saliva is there. That is termed as a digestive juice. What is the role of the saliva? Saliva makes the food moist and soft so that it becomes easy to swallow. The food we are taking, it is in a solid form. Na? Solid form is here, but it is a simpler hard also. So for making the food so soft and moist, the function of saliva is to make it soft and moist so that it becomes easy to swallow and from mouth, it goes inside to the different organs. The saliva contains chemical called enzymes. There are some important substances that are present in the saliva which help to digest the starch present in the food. What does it help to? The starch that is present in the food, it helps to digest that part of the food. Now the function of the mouth is over. From the mouth, the food passes into the food pipe. Now we have swallowed the food. Now from the mouth, it passes into the food pipe. The muscles of the food pipe push it down into the stomach. And from the food pipe, the food goes into the stomach. Now I'll take you to the diagram. See the diagram, the flow chart. I'll explain you. See, the first is the mouth. The mouth is the first part of the alimentary canal, which is also called oral cavity. So the process has been the process of digestion has begun from the mouth. And from the mouth, and the second part is the pharynx. It is a part of the throat immediately below the mouth. Below the mouth. Below the mouth lies the pharynx. Okay. And below the pharynx is a food pipe. From where the food, it is a, you can term the pharynx as an interlink between the mouth and the food pipe. That is also the name esophagus. The part next to the pharynx is called the esophagus or the food pipe. Another name for food pipe is esophagus. Okay. And from the food pipe, where does the food go? It goes to the stomach. The esophagus leads to the stomach which is a hollow container that holds foods. So a stomach has been described as a hollow container that contains the food. Again I am uh, taking you back to the explanation. So now what is what happens in the stomach? From the mouth where does the food go children? It goes to the food pipe and from the food pipe it goes to the stomach. Food stays in his stomach for the several hours. It stays in his stomach for several hours. It is mixed with more enzymes and acid secreted by the walls of the stomach. So the acid has been secreted by the walls of the stomach when the food is in the stomach. The process changes the solid food into liquid form. So what is hap what happens in the stomach? The food we are eating is in a solid form. But it cannot go to all parts of the body in the solid form. So the solid form of the food is converted into liquid form. Okay, in the stomach, the solid form is converted into liquid form. And the protein, one of the nutrients that we have eaten with our food protein that has been digested in the stomach. So protein itself got digested in the stomach. Now, from the stomach, the liquid flows into the small intestine. Where the stomach, now the food has been converted into liquid form. Now from the stomach, it goes to the small intestine. Here the food is mixed with different digestive juices. Different varieties of digestive juices are there in the small intestine. These break it down into more simpler form of nutrients. So making it easy to break it down, the food is breaking down to more and more simpler form. And that process is known as digestion. These nutrients seep through the seep means they go through the walls of the small intestine 
into the blood in blood vessels and the liquid form and the food is in the now the food has been converted into liquid form from the liquid form it has gone into the small intestine and small intestine is converted into various digestive juices and the food has now converted into the kind of juice for easy to understand juice and now it is going into the different kind of blood vessels and blood vessels carry them to the all parts of the body now the food is completely running into all parts of the body okay we cannot digest some parts of the food like the fiber in fruits and vegetables like the fiber the fiber part we cannot digest it so what happens to that part these from from the these pass from the small intestine into the large intestine so whatever part of the food that we can digest already it has gone into the liquid form in the blood vessels now the part of the food that we cannot digest that we cannot break into liquid form has passed into the large intestine the large intestine absorb leftover water and minerals so the leftover food the leftover water and minerals has been in the large intestine the semi solid phase then passes to the rectum and whatever the phase is left from the large intestine where does it go it goes to the rectum rectum the undigested part the semi solid part the undigested the unwanted part it is stored there for a some time before leaving the body through the anus the last stage the last organ when the rectum also can't store the food it stays there for some time and then the undigested part we cannot digest all the part of the food and then the undigested part leave the body through the anus now i'll explain you with the flow chart it becomes easy now we have started with the mouth from the mouth we have reached the pharynx pharynx we can say a link between the food mouth and the food pipe the food pipe the food goes into the stomach and the stomach converts the food into a liquid form and digest and secretes many digestive juices liver it is the largest organ of the body mark it very important largest organ of a body it secretes a digestive juice called bile i have explained you now that many kind of digestive juices were explained so one kind of digestive juices the liver secretes out is bile which helps in the digestion of fats proteins already got where is the protein digested protein has been digested in the stomach but fats fats are very heavy to digest so the liver secretes a digestive juice called bile which helps in the digestion of fats okay now the stomach a hollow container that contains food and from the stomach the food pass to the small intestine but between that pancreas is there pancreas secret digestive juice pancreas also secret many digestive juices uh, for digestion digestive juices children for example jo hamare body ke liye acha ho digest karne ke liye aasani ho that is digestive juices helps in digestion of the food and from the digestion uh, pancreas then it goes to the small intestine next to stomach small intestine where total digestion process is completed the process is completed in the small intestine and now the leftover part of the food which we cannot digest the fiber part that i have explained you where does it go it goes into the large intestine large intestine is the last part of the alimentary canal that connects to the rectum and the anus rectum the undigested food in the form of feces feces is the undigested part the food that we cannot digest it stays here in the rectum for the some part and then it goes through and at the last where does it go it goes out of the body through anus and opening through with which the wastes are discharged out so the last part has been completed through the process of anus i hope this organs of digest system is clear okay try to understand it okay now we are moving forward for the role of liver and pancreas liver and pancreas liver secretes a digestive juice called bile i have already explained you what is the role of the liver liver secretes a digestive juice called bile and what is the function of the bile bile break helps in breakdown of fat because fats are very unhealthy na so they are very uh, un, we can say bahut bhari hota hai digest karne ke liye so that the role of the bile is helps in the breakdown of fat pancreas also secret digestive juice pancreas the role of pancreas is also many digestive juices is secret out that helps in the digestion 
okay so in, in this video i have only explained the half part of the chapter i hope you will try to understand it first go through the first part of the chapter carefully in the next video i will explain you the other half second part of the chapter till then take care of yourselves take care of yourself bye bye